so many different benefits to this one. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I just wanna do a little review today on a supplement called Ashwagandha. A supplement with a weird name, but it's also one that's pretty popular. And if you look into most supplement blends where this effect applies, a lot of people use Ashwagandha for a lot of different things. So I just kinda of wanna go over what they claim for it online and what my experiences with it is and who I'd recommend it for so many different benefits to this one probably a lot more than this but i just got you know a few little bits here it reduces blood sugar it has possible anti-cancer properties it reduces cortisol it reduces stress and anxiety it helps with depression it helps with fertility in men it helps with muscle mass and strength it may reduce inflammation help brain function and memory. A lot of people will say this is kind of like for stress relief and like you should just saw it in there, anxiety and depression. Most of the time that I try stuff that helps anxiety and depression, it's got a little bit of a nice sedating property and that's kind of what I was expecting with ashwagandha. Now maybe some people do get that nice sedating property, but for me, this is more of a, a vitality style feeling good. I'm taking this basically for my body to kind of feel a little better and to feel a little more healthy, not for it to like do something specifically to my brain to like relax me or tranquilize me in any way. I don't really get too much of a sedating property with this one. Sometimes people use this in nootropic blends, even daytime blends with other stimulants in it, they'll use ashwagandha. So it kind of makes sense that it doesn't really have much of a sedating property. For me, something like choline, all the different kinds of choline, and L-theanine, those both have sedating properties. Um, lemon balm has sedating properties. So many different ones for me have sedating properties and I don't really get it with this one. And what I'd recommend it for is basically for adrenal fatigue, that wasn't something that they listed in there, but ashwagandha is notorious for helping adrenal fatigue. I noticed one of the first times I ever took it, I took a big dose of it and the next day, I felt so much more awake. Usually at that time, I was taking a lot of caffeine right when I woke up. My body was used to it. My adrenal system was probably zapped a little bit because I was taking it all the time. And I remember I took a big dose of ashwagandha and I woke up the next morning and I felt like I didn't need really that coffee as much. I ended up having some and even the coffee felt a little bit stronger as if my adrenal systems had healed so I didn't need it and when I had it it felt stronger. I would recommend it for adrenal fatigue. I do kind of see or feel some of that testosterone boosting, fertility boosting thing in males. As men age their testosterone levels tend to drop. Decreased energy to decreased sexual function to weight gain and muscle loss. Um, I definitely think this is great if you're male or female. I'm sure if you look at female properties a lot of these ones maybe have specific things that help females and also also help males but we just don't know about it because it helps females only It'd probably be great for everyone also another big thing so much of a thing that I google it almost every time I try a new supplement is I google the supplement along with testosterone to see if there's been any studies of that supplement along with testosterone because you would be surprised how often something will reduce somebody's testosterone or how often it will boost somebody's testosterone for example for men pretty sure mints decrease your testosterone and potatoes boost your testosterone so you would never know that potatoes would boost it and mint would decrease it. They, you would think maybe the mint would be better for you. You don't want something that's supposed to be really good for your body, but then also lowers your testosterone because that may, maybe it's better for women at that point, or maybe if you have a certain issue where you need it lowered. But most of the time, from my experience, everything bad that I take in or that any, in the environment will lower the testosterone. Anything good, healthy for me working out will raise it. So I look for a lot of things to raise it. Heals your adrenal system and produces more testosterone. Very, very good for um, hormone balance in my opinion. So I'd highly recommend it. Um, let me know what your experiences with it are down below. This is a very, very popular supplement. And I think a lot of people had more experiences with it than me. They liked different benefits that it had versus what I noticed. Like I said, I didn't notice much of sedating property. I felt more of a vitality um, boost. It's not a strong boost. Like there's a lot of um, supplements that I have that you get a natural boost of energy or sedation, but this one is kind of right down the middle and you have maybe 5%, 10% more of a better mood. And I definitely think this would be good if you were to take this for a long time, this would probably really balance out a lot of your systems and it would also like heal up your adrenal system and probably produce more of the good hormones that you want. So I'd highly recommend it. Let me know what you try and let me know what you think of ashwagandha. Have you tried it? Have you not tried it? Have you heard of it? If you've not heard of it, I'd be very interested to see down below. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.
help brain function, 